Pixar kind of light thingy. Look at this. Oh, can you see it now? Yes, you can. Woo! So today, okay, my friends, today I actually have something pretty cool to talk about. And I don't want you to be scared. I don't want you to uh, be afraid because I will be putting screenshots as I talk about it. So people fully understand what I'm talking about it. I fully understand, Vondi. I fully understand. Oh. Oh, the local end! Oh, Vondi, please. Please. Oh my god. But yeah, let me uh, let me explain. So as some of you know, I kind of start getting into Counter Strike Go, right? And with Counter Strike Go, you have these things called skins, basically are camos for your weapon. And uh, each individual camo has actually a value to it. They are actually worth money. And with that. I kind of got into what it's called CSGO betting, where you bet your skins, aka camos, on professional games, and depending on the percentage on each team, you know, depending on the amount of, uh, the amount of people that uh, bet their skins on each team, you receive a proportional amount. So, you know, let's say you bet on a team that has a very low, a very low percentage. That means that if you win, you're gonna win a lot more than you betted with, but the other way around, it might be a safer bet, but you will uh, win a lot less. Is that quad feet split? Might have been, might have been. So continuing with my betting story, um, basically starting yesterday, Exactly. Starting yesterday, there is this uh, ESL Counter-Strike GO tournament, which, by the way, it's being very successful in terms of numbers. Like, in the group stage alone, there's like 120,000 people watching on the stream. And then there were 260,000 people watching in the actual in-game thing. So that was, uh, you know, that was pretty cool. But, uh... Basically, I'm gonna show you, you know the images as I said before as I'm playing. This is what happened I believe it was the first four games of the day. I just lose I just lose all my bets I, I, I don't know. It's just it just things were not going my way. I don't know uh, Maybe I'm not a lucky person. Maybe it's not in my blood I was just losing everything and then this one game it was a uh, cloud nine versus Titan and in my opinion, that game was more of a 50-50, uh, so it's impossible to predict, uh, especially on a best of one game, it's impossible to predict uh, which team is actually going to win. Like, it's just, it's almost a random choice. But since the odds, because Titan were the favorite team, the odds were like, I believe it was like 69-31, and 31 for Cloud9, I decided, you know, I'm gonna put my faith on Cloud9. I do watch some of the guys, uh, some of the Cloud9 members stream, so I had faith. And I put uh, a risky bet, I would say that. It was a risky bet. I'll, I'll put the bet on the screen. Basically, I bet, uh, I think it was shit worth uh, around 40 bucks, and my potential winnings. Oh, split quad feet. And that's about it again. So I bet that, and my return value, if I actually won, was going to be 104 or 103. I don't really remember because the odds were kind of changing, but they are always around the same number. So the match starts, and in case you don't know, it's uh, basically search and destroy style, 30 rounds. So the first team to get to 16 rounds wins, right? And it's like 15 rounds in the defensive side, and then 15 rounds on the offensive side and all, all I have to say is that at the end of the first rounds It was 11-4 for Titan. So the team that I betted on was losing 11-4 Okay, they were losing 
11-4. Not gonna lie, I, I, my hope at that point was gone. I thought I was gonna lose my skins. I, I was gonna be pretty upset because it was an important bet for me, you know, make it or break it. But somehow, Cloud9, the gods, the gods were in my favor. The bad gods were in my favor and they tie up the game 15-15. What happens? It goes to overtime, six more rounds, three on each side, and you know, just go at it. What happens? 18-18! Overtime again! And I'm just, my heart, like, if you were in the same room as I was, you could hear my heart beating, dude. I was so fucking nervous and hyped, and I just didn't know what to do, man. So after being... 18-18, I was like, dude, you know, for some reason, although they were tying, you know, it was 15-15, then 18-18, the momentum, a voice crack, okay, I'm gonna say that again, <clears throat> the momentum was on Cloud9's favor, and Cloud9 on that second overtime, they just won four rounds in a row, and BAM, dude, I was hyped, Finally, that was like my biggest uh, bet, I could say, that like a hundred, just a hundred dollars worth of skins in one bet. That, that's just, that was awesome, dude. I never, I don't know, I never had anything like that go in my favor. An unreal comeback, and like the match itself was just so, so good. Like, it doesn't matter, like, even if Titan won the game at the end, it would have been an amazing game. It, I'm just I'm just happy they didn't you know I'm just happy because I didn't I didn't want to lose my skins okay I didn't want to and uh, I'll put the graph up on how I did in my first day of the bettings because I think the whole tournament it's throughout four days and this is you know just the first day everything went really well except the first couple of bets so I'm really happy about it and I, I just think it was pretty cool man it was just a nice fucking it was just a nice fucking game it really was I came in like a wrecking ball